Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. So I'm gonna do a little split screen um, action on this video. Um, we're gonna talk about these bolos and then we are gonna kind of um, look up other items in that same area to see if they are selling for a lot or if this is just kind of something that the seller got lucky with. Um, I have a bunch up here, so I'm probably gonna break this down into maybe two or three videos. I don't want them to get too long. I've Some people like long videos, some people like short. I'm trying to mix it up and kind of include everyone. You know, if I wanna get the people that like long ones, I wanna get the people that like short ones. If they're long, you guys can always pause them and come back and watch them later. Um, I feel like when you sit down and start watching a video, if you can get a bunch of bolos at one time, that's a great way to learn. So. Again, I'm using the split screen. This is a great way if you list on one side and then watch videos on the other, it's a great uh, way to learn why you list. It is maybe a little bit distracting um, as far as getting sidetracked, but um, definitely, definitely a, a good way to learn. I, uh, I like to listen to the YouTube videos while I uh, list. It's definitely, definitely helpful. So, um, I have a video on split screen on my YouTube channel if you want to learn how to do that. It's super cool. Subscribe below and we are going to get started here. All right, so the first one is this, um, I think it's like a model airplane, it's a toy airplane. I'm kind of looking at the pictures here. It's still in the box. And if I go over here and I already typed it in just to make it a little bit faster, but it looks like I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but it's S-C-H-U-C-O. And uh, here's some other, just so you know, I'm under number of bids most, and I put in that brand, Vintage. So looks like they make cars and little toys. Uh, this looks like it might be a wind-up toy. So definitely be on the lookout for that brand because, I mean, these are good selling prices and auction style. So you can see that they have a lot of bids. Uh, people are bidding these items up. So I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but definitely, definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, so the next one here are the, um, the doilies. And this one, I believe I posted in my Facebook group. If you're not a member, be sure to join below. Um, it's a great group. Let's see, we've got, when I when I posted it in the group, it was still auction, so it did end. It only sold for $26, but guys, I imagine you can pick these up at an estate sale, a garage sale, you know, really cheap. Um, I picked some up at a estate sale recently, and I have mine listed right now. Uh, they, have, they sold it for 26 bucks, so I don't think it's too bad. So let's go in and, Oops, I wanted to leave the vintage uh, and vintage doilies. So I'm noticing that the ones that have a lot of color do really well. So this set sold for $281, 62 bids. Here's just a single uh, table topper, went for 26. Again, a lot of times you can pick these up pretty cheap. Some of the Sometimes at the estate sales, they know what they have, so um, they will be charging a little more for these. So do your homework, look them up. If you can get it cheap, take a chance. So here's a lot of 17 that went for $34. So not a crazy huge bolo, but definitely something to be on the lookout for. I mean, here's one that went for $12.56. If you could pick it up for 50 cents, I mean, hey, I would do that. So I know a lot of you guys like the big, huge, big bolos where you're making tons of money. But um, keep in mind that you can make money on smaller bolos also. Uh, let's look at highest first. I was under the most bids. So again, that same one popped up. All right, 66.91. So yeah, not crazy, but all right, let's go to the next one. Okay, Bakelite, we all know about Bakelite. These are really cool, they're beads. Um, just three beads, I think they're beads. Yeah, three beads, monster beads. So, I mean, those are pretty big. I'm guessing that's an adult hand. So yeah, very, very big. 
I love the pictures. I mean, I'm wondering how big is that? And then they put an avocado beside it. Now I will say that avocados come in a variation of sizes, but pretty standard, you kind of know what you're getting. So they've weighed it for us. So let's see if there's any more monster beads. I wanna make sure I spell it right. Monster beads. I'm guessing maybe it won't. Let's try large beads. Okay, or we can just see what it pulls up. So again, I'm under highest first. Not all of them are gonna go for this much money, but this one went for 336. Let's do, again, I'm under auctions. You're gonna find a whole different set of things under buy it now. Uh, number of bids most first. So I think what's making this one stand out is the size of the beads. I mean, like, what do you put that on, like a necklace? I mean, could you imagine wearing those around your neck. So yeah, I don't know guys, it's kind of weird. All right. All right, if anybody knows what you're supposed to do with those beads, comment below, let me know. All right, here is another one that I posted in my Facebook group and I got the comment that this I had said, you know, check estate sales. A lot of times you can pick up tins of, uh, what do you call it? just buttons, old buttons, and somebody messaged and or commented and said, no, you are not going to find this at an estate sale. Well, this person found it somewhere. I don't know where they found it. Um, it's not a member of the group. So, uh, but I still say, check the buttons at estate sales. I bought a tin of buttons at a garage sale and I didn't get lucky, but hey, you never know. So I'm going to type in CSA button and see if it pulls up anything else. So this one had 64 bids and it sold for $200.99. So here's another one. It went for 90, which is weird because this one seems to be in better condition. So maybe this one just looks cooler. I don't know. So here's one went for 127. So you guys get the idea here. These go for big money, 158, 225. So yeah, be on the lookout for those. Again, I know they're rare, probably not gonna come across it, but if I would have come across it, I wouldn't have known. So now you at least know. All right, this is a John Deere Potato Planners brochure from 1928. Yes, it is a brochure, guys. Just a brochure. And it sold for $212.50, 37 bids. So I want to see what other John Deere row sure. This one sold for one forty-five fifty, and there were over fifty of them. So I'm thinking the seller maybe should have um, sold those separately. They may have done a little better. Here's the one we're looking at. This one went for eighty-six, one eleven. 117. So major, major bolo guys, John Deere brochures. Okay. So this is just a Gucci t-shirt. It is vintage. It does still have the tags attached. Um, I don't understand why this part is here, but the winning bid was 221.50. It had 49 bids. So I'm going to put in Gucci. Ooh vintage oh man sorry guys can't spell tonight vintage t-shirt and let's see what we get i don't know what you guys like but i like list to view i don't like the what do they call it grit or gallery i don't like gallery view i am such a list of view person so here is the one that we're looking at 221.50. This one sold for 93, 76, 66, 132, 202. So guys, if you can pick up any Gucci t-shirts and it looks like most of these are new without tags, pre-owned even going for this kind of money. This one's pre-owned, size medium, sold for 170.50. So definitely, definitely be on the lookout for the Gucci tees. All right. This is the flocked material, another one that I have touched on in my Facebook group. 
So I believe that flocked means that it's kind of raised, like the materials raised a little bit, not a hundred percent sure on that, but this sold for 242, 50, 52 bids. So I'm going to put in vintage flocked. Um, let's see how they have it. They don't even have material. So let's just do vintage flocked and see what it pulls up. So this sold for 167.50, 401. Ooh, wow. I'm gonna, I wanna open this up and look at it a little better. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little sidetracked. Wow, so it looks like it's sheer also. Looks like it's really pretty. So anyway, yeah. Vintage flocked material. I have no idea why this tree and stuff. I, yeah, again, I didn't put material in, so other things are coming up. But here's some 283. There's a naked GI Joe. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Here's another one that's real pretty. Two hundred sixty dollars, eighty one dollars. So of course, you know, the prettier it is, the more unique, the more it's going to go for, as always. Okay, so Zippo Lighter Collection, 60 piece. Um, I'm guessing maybe a reseller purchased this to resell them individually. $550, 41 bids. I am just going to put in um, vintage Zippo, see what happens. So, yeah, here's one lighter that went for $339, $530. I mean, crazy. 665 crazy selling prices. So let's say one of these people that sell Zippos saw this listing and they're like, all they have to do is see one or two that they know will sell for big money and they are going to buy this for 550 and they are, they may sell one or two and make their money back. And then the rest is all profit. This would be me selling it as a lot and having no clue what I have and somebody else making a ton of money off of it. But you know what? Hey, that's fine. I wouldn't be mad. I would be happy and I would move on. So this is an antique. It looks to be in rough condition. It's, um, I believe it's pronounced Stife. Uh, they're typically bears, but I think they make other animals also. Um, here, let me show you the tag. The ears are always tagged. Yeah, it's upside down. But anyway, again, this one's in pretty rough shape, but it sold for 152 50, 38 bids. And I'm just going to put in Scythe. And then, so we are under the most bids first. Number of bids, sorry. So this one went for 249 Let me... Um, Add vintage. All right, so this guy's kind of cool. And I'm going to go into highest first. And again, I'm under auction only. So this one sold for 910 So it's a goose and it's baby. So cool. Um, soldier doll. Never seen that. So yeah, I guess I always assumed they were animals. I didn't know they made like little boys and people, soldiers and stuff like that. Oh, this is cool. A circus train. Wow. Super cool. So yeah, I kind of always, when I think of Stipe, I think of bears like this right here. So very, very cool. So definitely be on the lookout for those. All right. I love this. So cute. I would not pay $910 for it though. It's not that cute. Okay, so this is a Ford 1930s, 40s, 50s battery warranty certificate. I don't know guys, but $73, 35 bids. And I'm guessing that people that have these vehicles um, that they restore or that are in non-restored condition, they want these, uh, things to put in the car. I don't know. To I, I don't know. I really don't know. That's just what I'm guessing. So I'm going to Google, Google, not Google, sorry, eBay search. 
um, battery warranty certificate and just see. Okay, so it looks like maybe this is the one I'm showing you. Oh, it looks like maybe it sold the first time in January and they, I'm guessing they didn't pay and they relisted it and it sold for more. Yay, I love that. Anybody else love that? Um, here's another warranty. Again, it's kind of taking me into some different warranty. That's a Rolex warranty. So again, people that have the original items like to have these types of things to go with them. All right. Okay, uh, this is another one that we talked about in my Facebook group. Typically, the ones that I see the most of are the um, monkeys. But let me show you here. This one, when I posted it, uh, maybe that was not it. Maybe it was a different one. Sorry. I thought it was this one. I thought it had a high bid that somebody retracted, but it may have been a different listing. So this one sold for 156 44 bids. And I'm going to put, okay, I don't know how to say your last name. So I'm just going to type it in. But um, so it looks like the monkeys are the ones that I'm used to seeing as a big bolo. I don't know, some sort of bird, whatever this is, it sold for 631. So it looks like she makes the Santa Claus 511. So definitely, definitely be on the lookout for these. I think everything she makes is wood, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But yeah, definitely. Uh, here's a hippo, wooden hippo. So super cool. I, again, would only recognize the monkey until I looked at this. And now I can see that she definitely has a lot of cool stuff. Here's a zebra that went for 160. So a very, very cool bolo. Be on the lookout for this artist because her stuff goes for big money. All right, let's do here and then I'm gonna stop this. Oh, it's just more of the um, material. This one is a little bit, it's fabric, rainbow colors, fabric, doll clothes, semi-sheer. Um, we can, let's just do fabric, vintage fabric. Um, see what we get. I don't know why we got that because that is not fabric. Huh. Let's see, maybe material. Well, I am striking out here. Here's one fabric leaf pattern, vintage 499. Here's another one. That's more of the flocked 510. Um, so even if it's not flocked, I mean, you can still get some big bucks for some vintage fabric. So definitely, definitely, definitely don't pass by the fabric if you see it. Um, if it's cheap, take a chance. If it's expensive, do your research. But um, yeah, fabric can be a good one. So um, I am going to go off here and in this video and be sure to subscribe below. And then I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna do a few more of these. I've got quite a little list up here, but it takes a little longer when I go in and I look at the other uh, solds but I feel like it's beneficial to kind of give you more of an idea of what is selling and maybe why, or it, I mean, most of the bolos that I show you guys are things that you really need to look for because usually they sell for a lot. So anyway, moving on and check back. I'll, I'll probably wait a day or so to post the next video. So definitely check back. I've got some other videos that um, I did tonight. I'm trying to get a few of them pre-recorded, just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm not stressing to do, um, what am I going to talk about when I have things that I find that are interesting and I want to talk about, I'm trying to do the videos. 
All right, so have a good night and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.